I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Yeah. Sassy, moody, hey. nasty. Hey. Yeah. First impression matters when people see you so how you look matters to a very large extent for people even want to know what's in your heart what's in your mind My blessing Confidence, guys, is the best accessory, the best outfit, the best form of elevation. And if all else fails, just smile. Hi there welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking this video my name is stephanie and i'm a london-based content creator i shoot videos on style fashion mostly some lifestyle which includes travel food and some tv in this episode as you just seen from the title i'm going to be showing you some easy key ways to elevate your style you might be thinking i'm not a fashion enthusiast i don't care about style i don't care about fashion yes this video is actually for you because the tips i'm going to give you you can practice easily without thinking too much and then you're going to be coming out better than you currently look right now so let's go straight into this video guys the first way i would say to elevate your style is wearing a blazer just for example you're going casual you want to dress casually probably wear a crop top or a tank top throw on a blazer the fabric of your blazer will probably depend on the weather but there are blazers that are very light blazers that ones that are thick that ones that are ones that are just okay there are ones that look so so formal and structured um, with the shoulders and there are some that are actually very casual with the way they drape on your body so just putting on a blazer over your look raises it high notches up second tip i'll give you is to grab an accessory accessorize guys i am very lazy when it comes to accessories you can see i want to stop in one of the tips i'm going to show you you see how i accessorize it but on a normal day this is exactly how i'm going to wear with my stud earrings and then just the top like that just i probably just wear lipstick and then do my eyes i would even wear foundation and stuff but guys accessories go a long way you could wear a chain you could wear a statement piece like on your neck you could wear those ones that go down you could also wear belts guys my biggest kind of accessory where I accessorize mostly i'll say is clutch grabbing a clutch gives you that chic look like you could be looking normal or even just pretty the once you grab that clutch and another thing guys the way you hold your clutch not i know just some shoulder bags that you have to hold like this but just holding your clutch like this if it has a little hand or you know like this if it's a clutch you could have a rope or whatever but you know just holding it like this down you look like you know what you're doing just look for clutches in your house or a bag just a nice bag pretty bag and carry it well trust your style will look elevated <laughs> I would say you should own a unique blouse we all like to wear that plain jeans leggings I mean, what do you wear no food I don't care about that what do you wear every day like what's your go-to look t-shirts and leggings t-shirts and leggings have that statement blouse a statement blouse is a blouse that just not a regular t-shirt or a regular sleeveless top or a regular off shoulder it could be whatever styles to be honest but there's just something different like you know when you say have your capsule collection of your wardrobe it's not one of those things that would be in a classic capsule collection it's not but it's that blouse that when you wear it no matter what you wear at the bottom you just look bonds you just look bonds obviously your shoes will still count but there's just that blouse that when someone sees you you know how some people see you it's not like they just want to say something like you're looking like your blouse is nice you know that's gonna have like your blouse people will just have to say that your blouse is nice yeah so this kind of blouse for that one i have this green one i bought this green top from a charity shop some years back i think i was still in colin Dill then this is probably 2012 2013 and i've had it door today my waistline told me that we're no more joking but i still held it and my husband helped me button it and this blouse every time i wear this blouse like you guys it has this retro look you can even put a brooch on it you can do it without the brooch it's like a night out now you're going to be very careful but once you hold the the waist 
it just sits nice there's got pleats on it please please i've washed and washed they have never gone just because of the quality of the of the piece and to be honest i don't think i got that in over 20 pounds i don't even know if i spent up to 10 pounds on it i can't remember because it's been a while and then the color is green it's not my favorite shade of green but it's just pretty I wore it with cycling shorts for this um, style video it just comes out so good so just invest in one or two statement blouses i think stores that you could get statement blouses from top shop is a good one zara if you search well you'll see a statement blouse in zara also house of cb they have a lot of beautiful statement blouses i'm sure there are other stores mango possibly would have i'm sure there are other stores that have but yeah these stores i've just mentioned will have a couple of them maybe i should even put links of statement blouses under this description box of this video i'll search properly and give you guys at least six options of statement blouses they elevate your look guys they elevate your look like it just takes you from zero to a hundred real quick <laughs> say wear monotone looks so monotone looks are um, just colors that are kind of in the same family not in the same family of going together like you see uh, this color goes with that color no in the same family but different shades the one i wore to illustrate this point was this brown jumper guys i don't even own a lovely brown jumper i usually stole my husband's one that's why you can see the fit is a bit loose but then again sometimes wearing stuff that has a loose fit makes you look more expensive makes you look effortless like you're not trying too hard to you know show anything i wore this brown one then like nude pants and then my nude shoes and my brown purse and i now try to even carry this hat along i was gonna wear it on this video but i didn't want to be too much <laughs> So yeah, but you can do that in so many shades of colors. It could look so classy in white as well. Black on black, like who am I to tell you about black on black? Like we all know all black everything. Peng. There are different shades of a color that you could pull off and look so good. Even red, as bold as red is, when you do red to two, it looks bone. So guys, always just try once in a while gather the same kind of shades together. If you know a Dao fashion, a Dao fashion a dao fashion on instagram she does coffee very very lovely like she knows how to do her browns well always looks so lush so wearing one of two outfits are an absolute way to look so chic and elevated in your style obviously considering your body shape and what you're wearing as well body shapes wearing the right proportions when it comes to right proportions obviously like there are rules like okay if something is really loose at the top it should be um, quite pleated at the bottom things like that just make you look nice so consider things like that at the same time consider your body shape if you don't have hips you're someone who is really straight try to avoid those skinny jeans just try to avoid them wear a lot of loose pants um, shirt dresses that are loose just accentuate your waist with a belt but just let it flow skater dresses they are for you to illustrate this point i actually wore a, a loose fitted blazer and my mom jeans so both of them were loose but then again i've got height i've got a bit of height and i think i wore heels as well so that helps when you're when you're when you look tall or when you're a bit tall we've got height you can actually do both loose pieces and not look bad at all you look lost in it and I also have some shoulder that helps as well and vertical stripes work so nice when you're chubby it brings you together if it's even when you're posing for pictures guys if you know you're kind of on the big side cross your legs even me just cross your legs to the front it always just gives you that s figure you know so just carry yourself well as you might see something on a mannequin doesn't mean it's for you your favorite influencer can wear a pair of pants from zara top shop and then it's fixing how it does it check your own figure before you go and buy know your own body shape and what suits you and don't just get carried away with what you're seeing here and there also when you wear stuff you guys just look in the mirror and do you like what you see you just use these little tips i'm giving you to arrange yourself so you'll be elevated guys First impression matters when people see you. So how you look matters to a very large extent. First, people even want to know what's in your heart, what's in your mind.
sixth tip is self-care so when i say self-care i'm not just talking about going to wash your hair wearing your face mask i'm talking about the inside as well forgive people meditate just take care of yourself put yourself in the right frame of mind at every time think positively things around you might be going so bad kneel down to god and pray if you're christian just do something that will make you feel better on the inside don't hold grudges someone hurts you someone annoyed you the other day your holding grudges is actually going to be hurting you by yourself control your mind to be able to control your reality to be honest guys one thing i've noticed in this life i've lived so far is that my mind is my reality like someone can call me now complaining about something and i'm just like oh what's this one this is not even important what's this person okay this is the reason they are saying you know just make excuses for people so that that is not your reality like annoying things are not your reality make your reality your reality because you getting angry over things you so scared about something that you can't control it does not change anything so why don't you just try your best to focus on what you can do to change what it is if you cannot do anything Focus on something else that will make you happy. Focus on the good parts of yourself because there are people out there who are ready to tell you the silly and rubbish parts of yourself, the bad habits you have. Take time off to relax, to reflect, to chill, rest. There's no job in this world that won't continue if you don't go every time and kill yourself there. You get like, if you die tomorrow, everything is still going to continue. Put yourself first in everything. Everybody is selfish. Everybody is selfish. So just always put yourself first. Obviously, in a way that you're not hurting other people, for you are way more important after i'm um, like taking care of your inside then you can talk about skincare relaxing getting your nails done wearing a nice outfit buying something retail therapy reading a new book buying a new book watching a new series whatever it is that gets you going in a nice way doing some diy cooking just doing things that make you happy inside and outside so your hair now wash your hair your hair is looking beautiful your, your, your style is already elevated in fact i don't even need to talk too much you get like your nails are looking on point it will even just make you happy so doing little things like that also radiates from inside and elevates your style <laughs> mixing textures it's actually interesting okay well these are for people who really like fashion or you know <laughs> yeah so how i illustrated this was when um a leather pants and i wore like a share blouse that had ruffles so leather pants kind of strong it's leather and then the, the share she was it she fun you should share you know it had polka dots and then ruffles as well and i had a cloth kind of belt with a metal thingy well the metal thing now matched my shoes which were sandals and were really high and then I, I i wore a hat at some point so they're just mixing those textures just makes you look a bit interesting and it's just fun dressing up and you're mixing textures and stuff yeah so just look into your wardrobe and once in a while it could be knitwear and leather pants just something interesting something cute you elevate your style and it just makes you look like you know what you're doing <music> is that go-to pair of really chic shoes so once in a while as seasons come and go and you have resources like ebay and um, what's that one people sell so much on these days i can't remember the name what people sell on so many um, platforms these days like resell stuff go and sell your old stuff you will get forward obviously we all have classic pairs of shoes that we keep using over and over again i have a couple trust me but when there are some shoes that you bought due to a trend once that like so a lot of shoes i bought last year spring summer and obviously it was difficult to sell them in winter so now is the time to go sell the shoes and then buy more just replace your shoes and always just have this nice one pretty shoe so the shoes i wore for the texture mixing is the my pretty shoe for the period right now it's a zara pair of shoes i really love the heels i love the square front you know they're really really high so i think i'll just use them mostly for pictures or maybe a dinner or something where obviously you're going to drive to the place but yeah just invest in a pair of nice shoes it could be flat as well guys it doesn't have to be heels 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 it could be kitten heels those kitten heels are really really chic as well so you could get like really lovely classic kitten heels and that will be your shoe 
נשיק שוב for the season. I'm going to start giving you my 8 tips now. The ninth and most important tip, guys, is your confidence. There's nothing that confidence can replace. To be honest, once you're wearing confidence and a beautiful smile, guys, you are already elevated. Like, people would even wonder what's about. You know, there's a way you just be. As if you just you just have control of yourself. Like, there's some girls you just see. Like, they just know. They just, even the way they open their purse, they just know everything. They have, I don't even know how to explain it. But there's a way you have confidence that you look so put together. Together, if you've been that kind of person before, or you've seen people who just look like does is anything this one doesn't even know, like they just look so organized, like they know what's happening, they know what they want. Confidence, guys, is the best accessory, the best outfit, the best form of elevation. If all else fails, just smile. All right, guys, I thank you so much for watching this video up to this point. If there's any other ways you can suggest to elevate your style that you want to share, please drop it in the comment section. I hope you're all staying safe, washing your hands for up to 30 seconds. Coronavirus is not going to come to any of us. Just make sure you stay in your house as well. But please, if you haven't subscribed, as I said in the beginning, click the subscribe button. Also, click the bell beside the subscribe button so you get notifications every time I post. Click the like button whether or not you like this video, guys. Ah. and then drop a comment because I really love to read from you see you on the next episode bye bye